Duke Johnson, who is owned in a lot of leagues. I don't want to pretend that he's not. But in your league, he may have been dropped. I know I had him and dropped him because I couldn't, I couldn't stand it. All the signs said he should be good all season long. It didn't happen until this past Sunday. We had nine receptions. He had two touchdowns. And he was more involved than he has been at any point this season. The, Bear, the Browns wide receivers not doing much outside of Jarvis Landry. With new offensive coordinator Freddie Kitchens, who was previously the running backs coach, Duke Johnson is going to get every opportunity to shine. If he's out there, Frank, you got to pick him up. Yeah, absolutely. 70% owned in CBSSports.com leagues right now. But even in 10-team leagues, I would say in every single PPR and half-point PPR format, Duke Johnson needs to be owned. You mentioned Freddie Kitchens, who takes over as the offensive coordinator, former running back running backs coach, you know, he obviously has worked very closely with uh, with these guys, with Duke Johnson, with Nick Chubb. So he knows how to use these guys and how to uh, get the most out of them. So, I mean, look, this is part of the reason why Hugh Jackson and Todd Haley were let go because they weren't utilizing the weapons that they had correctly. There was clearly some kind of disconnect between the front office and the management here because in the offseason, they signed Duke Johnson to an extension. And this season, they were barely using him until this game. You mentioned what he did, Greg. Uh, posted season highs across the board here. Nine targets, nine receptions, 78 yards, two touchdowns. He hasn't had more than two rushing attempts in four straight games, but that's not what you want Duke Johnson for. You want him because what he does out of the pass game, and they don't have many weapons right now. It's really just David Njoku and Jarvis Landry, so we saw them line Duke Johnson up out wide a few times in this game. They're going to continue to do that. They just don't have a lot of weapons, and this was honestly one of Baker Mayfield's better games this season, and that was with Duke Johnson getting involved. I can, I can foresee them continuing to do that moving forward. Even though they lost to Kansas City on Sunday, Cleveland was able to move the ball pretty efficiently, and I understand Kansas City not exactly a strong defense, but this new offense focusing and featuring Duke Johnson, I think it's a keeper for Cleveland.